Now, if you're operating your business in the hyperinflationary country, which means hyperinflationary economies, for example, uh, certain countries in Africa, so you may be thinking about the use of IFRIC number seven, applying the restatement approach under the IAS number 29, financial reporting in hyperinflationary economies. Now, it's important again uh, to the ACCA study. The best way I can show this is to take it through to the example I drafted for you. The company operates in a hyperinflationary economy it has the PPE purchased for a hundred thousand, but at the year end, we can see the cumulative inflation rate since purchase is a hundred percent. So this means that in the past year, you spent a hundred thousand dollars to purchase that piece of machinery, but if you purchase now, you have to spend a hundred thousand times by two because inflation rate 100% there, you have to spend $200,000 there. So, the machinery is an example of non-monetary asset, because if you want to get rid of that machinery, you need to sell it before it can be turned into cash. Unlike receivables or payables, those are called monetary assets or liabilities. However, for a non-monetary asset, for the increase in value by $100,000 there, what you have to do is to put that into the equity rather than the p and At the same time, the company has monetary asset worth of $200,000, so deposit it in the hyperinflationary economy's bank account. At the same time, the monetary liabilities worth $150,000. So if that's the case, according to IFRIC, we need to put the net figure, which means the equity figure, so in other words, the asset minus liability worth of $50,000 because the inflation rate applies by 100%. So this means that the money is worth less by 50,000. That 50,000, we should put that into the PL directly. So making sure that you're ready. Now, taking you back to my note regarding this, for the non monetary items, all you need to do is that for the gains and losses, we do not put that into the PL directly, but we put them into reserve. For monetary item, on the other hand, these are not restated. However, the gains and losses on the net position is to recognize in the PNO. So make sure they are ready. APC, accounting for your future.